You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. The ASEAN Secretary General, Dato Lim Jokhoi, has said that the opening of the 40th ASEAN Tourism Forum 2022, which Cambodia is hosting in the coastal city of Sienegville after a two-year suspension due to the COVID-19 crisis, is a message to the world about the reopening of tourism in ASEAN. Addressing the meeting with Prime Minister Hun Sen before the opening of the ASEAN Ministerial Meeting on Wednesday morning in Sienegville, Secretary General Dato Lim Jok Hoi reassured his support of Prime Minister Hun Sen's remarks during the opening ceremony of the ASEAN Tourism Forum on Tuesday night, which stressed the importance of tourism for socioeconomic recovery, especially the reconnection of ASEAN member countries. He has underlined that the organization of the ASEAN Tourism Forum by Cambodia is to show the world that ASEAN has reopened its tourism. He added that today's ASEAN Tourism Minister's meeting will approve a number of documents, especially on post-COVID-19 tourism rehabilitation. The minister delegate attached to the Prime Minister, Kao Kim Hoon, reiterated to reporters after this morning's meeting that the Tourism Minister's meeting in Sienegville sends a very important message about re-entry into ASEAN, as well as on the reopening of ASEAN tourism. The ASEAN Secretary General also further stated that he will continue to work towards ensuring that ASEAN can open the tourism corridor in accordance with the recommendations of Prime Minister Hun Sen stated last night. Prime Minister Hun Sen has expressed his pleasure and hope that Cambodia would work together with all relevant partners, both within ASEAN member countries and ASEAN partners, to promote tourism recovery while fighting against COVID-19. Speaking at the opening ceremony of the ASEAN Tourism Forum in Sienegville on Tuesday night, Prime Minister Hun Sen highlighted the importance of reconnecting ASEAN to promote people-to-people -people interaction, economic and tourism ties promoting the fight against COVID-19, and open tourist corridors.